today we are making a fresh lemon blueberry dutch baby to start we're going to preheat our oven to 450 degrees and over low heat we're going to place a 9 or 10 inch cast iron skillet then we're going to need a blender i'm using an immersion blender you may be able to use a food processor i think you could really just mix by hand but the goal is we don't want any lumps in our Dutch baby batter. The recipe I'm borrowing, which I will link down below, says to, in a small skillet, melt two tablespoons of butter. I'm just gonna do this in a microwave safe bowl, place two tablespoons of butter, and I'm going to microwave it at half power for 30 to 40 seconds, just until it's melted. So additionally into your blender or what I'm doing, I'm just using a big glass jar and I'm going to immersion blend all of my ingredients while they're in my jar. I forgot to put the butter in until the very end, but once your butter is melted, you're going to put it into your blender or whatever container you're using, along with a half cup of all-purpose flour. Be sure to spoon your flour into your measuring cup or else you will add too much flour because flour can pack down. We're going to add a half cup of milk. I'm using whole milk. The recipe suggests whole or 2%. The fat from the milk just adds to the flavor. We're going to add four large eggs. Three tablespoons of white sugar. One teaspoon of vanilla extract a quarter teaspoon of salt, and the zest of one lemon. I had needed lemon juice for a Greek chicken marinade, so I had just saved my lemon zest and that's why it's in a jar here. So you're going to blend or mix together super, super, super well all of your ingredients, including the butter that we had melted until it is smooth. Now, the reason for blending it until it's smooth, partially, as you saw, we have four eggs in this recipe. So if you've never had a Dutch baby before, the texture is a little, it's very smooth, it's pretty silky, it's somewhat custardy, but it's not, there's a little more chew than softness. It's not chewy, like that would be a turnoff to eating it, but it is, it's a little chewier. So if you're using a blender to make pancake batter, stop that. Blending creates a tougher, chewier texture. So if you want fluffy pancakes, whisk, whisk that batter by hand and leave the lumps, but we don't want any lumps in this batter. So once you've blended your batter, we're going to come back to our 9 or 10 inch skillet that's been heating over low heat, and we're going to place two more tablespoons of butter into it. We're going to turn our heat up to medium high. We're going to melt the butter, and the recipe doesn't say to twist pan around to get the butter coating the bottom and the sides, but I did that anyway because it made me feel better. And once your butter is melted, we're going to add one cup of blueberries. You can use fresh or frozen, but with frozen, that's going to drop the temperature of your batter, so that will most likely affect your cook time. Either way, pop your blueberries in and give your skillet a shake, just to spread them out into an even layer, and then right away, pour your batter over the top of your blueberries. Now, you do have enough time. The recipe I was using said immediately pour the batter over the blueberries and transfer it to the oven. It's okay, you can take the time to use a spatula to scrape out your bowl or your jar that your batter is in, and then go ahead and pop that right into the oven. You don't have to do any cooking on the stovetop. Just pop your skillet right into the oven, then make sure to turn your stove off. Not your oven, just your stove flame, if you have a gas stove. And then we're going to cook that for about 15 minutes in our oven. Now, I did use frozen blueberries, so mine took 17 minutes. You just want to make sure that your pancake, your Dutch baby, is puffed and golden. So it will puff before it gets a little golden. And then it's done. You're ready to go ahead and cut your Dutch baby. It's pretty delicate. This size Dutch baby would feed between two and four people. Your puff will settle down, so it will shrink. 
in the few minutes after you take it out of the oven and then you can serve it with a dusting of powdered sugar some maple syrup I really like it with a little bit of maple syrup because it's not super sweet and to make it a complete breakfast of course you can have this by yourself but I like to serve it with some sausage or some bacon but let me go ahead and just show you a cross section of this Dutch baby and it will give you an idea of the smooth semi custardy texture that you're going to get with the Dutch baby and why it's so important to make sure your batter is mixed or blended until the batter is smooth you don't have any lumps in it there's no air bubbles no air pockets on the bottom you just have the golden puffiness on top so super simple super quick quite easy I will leave the ingredients and the instructions down below for you guys go ahead and give this video a thumbs up if you would make this recipe be sure to subscribe to the Recipes with Ray channel if you're interested in more delicious recipes. And if you are looking for my go-to plain pancake recipe, go ahead and click this video here on screen and I will see you guys there.